So we always give Google a bit of a hard time for not being the big I am and not really having much knowledge when it comes to the algorithm. And the truth is what they've been doing lately has been very, very good and they've been doing a great job to really relinquish spammers from the SERPs. Now over the last couple of years, I've gained a really firm understanding of how the algorithm actually works. I've seen how content analysis has developed in the SERPs and I have a really good understanding of how it is working now and it's not really the way that the market really thinks. And in this video, I'm gonna explain my understanding of how Google's algorithm actually looks at words on a page and chooses what page to rank over a different page. The truth is people get really caught up on silly things like the word count of a page or how many times you should mention a keyword. And while these things do matter to some degree, it really doesn't matter in the large scheme of things. And there's actually a deeper meaning to what's going on behind the algorithm, then I really think you'll be able to get insane yielded results over the next year or two with your websites on the internet. So the old framework that Google used to use to analyze content was called TF-IDF, okay? Now I think at this point it's much more advanced, but the premise of how TF-IDF works still applies and I'm gonna explain it right here. So TF stands for term frequency, okay? Um, term frequency. And this basically put, um, is the amount of times you mention a term on a page, okay? So for example, if you're trying to rank for the keyword blue and you mention blue three times on the page, essentially term frequency applies that provided you don't spam that to a really high level, the more times you have that in the page, the more of a chance that page is about that thing. Now, I don't think this is really as big a factor now. I think they've really moved more away from this, but that's what term frequency means, okay? Now, the other part of the equation is IDF, and this is part that people really just forgot about and didn't really take anything to do with and don't understand. So IDF stands for inverse document frequency, okay? Essentially, what that means is it means how many times do other people mention the words that are on my page? Now, let me show you how this really applies in the current SERPs. If I take a random keyword, let's say I'm trying to rank for the word blue, okay? And when Google sees the word blue, they have a really firm understanding about what other words you have to mention on your page in order to rank for blue, okay? Now this wasn't originally in TFIDF because with TFIDF, they really just looked at the word blue and if you mentioned blue multiple times and other people didn't really mention it, then they would give you a lot of credit for that word blue, okay? But at this point, really what they're looking at is other words that fall into blue and they build topics of words and that's how they understand things. So they know if you wanna rank for blue, you need to be mentioning words like color, for example, because that's what it is. Or you need to mention things like sky for sky blue. There's lots of different words that you can use to actually describe the word blue, okay? And all of these different words come into compound and really builds up your overall authority for the main keywords that you're trying to target in the SERPs, okay? Now, I'm gonna keep this example really, really simple and explain to you how the algorithm actually works. Let's say these are the only three words, okay? Blue itself, color, and sky are the only words that Google associates with the word blue. Now, obviously, there'll be hundreds, there'll be thousands of different words that they associate, and they give varying levels of authority to mentioning different words. So, for example, with blue, they might give more credit for mentioning the word color with blue than the word sky, okay? So let's just say these three words are the only three words that are gonna help you rank for the keyword blue, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up some competitors right here and just show you an example of how this would work in the SERPs, okay? So let's say your website, um, in this example, just mentions the word blue, your competitor mentions the word blue, and competitor two mentions the word blue, okay? So everyone would really rank the same because everyone has just mentioned the word blue once on their page and there's no other mention of any other keywords. Okay, so now let's say competitor one mentions the word color on his page as well, okay? Now, because he mentioned the word color on his page, he's getting more credit for blue because he's got color on his page, okay? Um, and then let's say competitor two has color on his page, okay? Well, these two people are gonna rank above you because they both have color on their page. However, let's say your website, and let's presume that sky and color have the exact same level of um, direct correlation to the word blue, so they give you the exact same amount of credit for mentioning either of those words with the word blue. Let's say you mention the word sky, okay, on your page. 
you would actually rank number one in this case. And that's because, although these guys have mentioned another word that is directly correlated, because you're the only one that mentioned the word sky, and Google sees that as a powerful word, you're actually going to rank higher. You're going to get more credit for mentioning that word sky because other people aren't mentioning it. And the reason why this is so effective from Google's point of view is because now they understand these topical understandings of everything, essentially you actually need to almost be a copywriter in order to come in and come up with unique understandings and ideas of different topics. You can't really just come in and mention the same things as everyone else to get a high, high, high edge against your competitors. So I use tools like Surfer SEO. There's a link to it below actually. Um, and these guys are fantastic at finding the word that your competitors already have and are ranking for. They've now embedded some NLP and stuff in there, so they are getting some words which are outside of that. However, these guys are the best at being able to find words that your competitors are already ranking for and get them embedded. And that's really, really important. But to really dominate and to really level up in the high-end SERPs, you really need to understand words that are not on other people's web pages. You need to add extra content. So why is it that people can get away with not actually mentioning these new fancy words that I'm talking about? Well, let me illustrate it right here. So let's imagine you're trying to rank for a keyword like best cat food, right? I'm not going to write it all out, but best cat food. And let's say there's 500 different words, okay, that you need to mention that Google has in their database, right? Google has 500 words, which if you mention those words, it's going to help you rank for best cat food, Okay. In a really, really easy SERP, let's imagine this is an easy SERP for a second, it might be that guy one, you know, only has, you know, uh, 200 of those words on his page, right? Guy two has 200 words on his page, guy three has, you know, 192 words on his page, right? Now, let's just, just you know, pretend for a second, there's no backlinks, we're just keeping it really simple, okay? Now, all of these people don't have all of the 500 words on their page even though there's 500. And if you come in with a tool like Surfer, okay, you're essentially going to search these people, okay, and it's good, Surfer's going to tell you a bunch of words to make sure you get on your page, but you're only ever going to get 200 out of 500 words because these guys only have that, right? Now, the great thing about Surfer is that it lets you get to that level of the 200, but if you really want to level up, you actually have to understand the niche because in a hard SERP, you might have the same thing, right? People might have, you know, let's say 400, 350, and 300, right? They've got, you know, th these words on their page. But the reality is, if you want to beat the guy with 400, you need to actually come in and find more words, okay? It's going to be more difficult for you because you're going to actually have to level up the content quality. And most of the top guys who are competing in really, really hard SERPs are coming in and taking out the amount of, you know, topical words that Google relates to keywords and they're finding those from Surfer because Surfer's a fantastic tool. But past that, you really need to actually have a good writer and have a good copywriter. The truth is having a good writer and a good understanding of the market that you're trying to write for is really what's going to yield you the best results in this example because Google has made it so good now because they understand every keyword, every word in a very good way at this point that essentially you kind of have to come in and come up with words on your page and mention them well that they know is related to the topic that you're trying to rank for. And that's a very simplified and dumbed down version of how it works. But we've really got to this point where you have to start in difficult niches, mentioning stuff on your page, which really helps the user that comes to your website and that other people haven't thought of yet. You need to start to try and innovate a little bit in the SERPs and come up with stuff that really adds value and adds additional content onto the SERPs, which allows Google to look at it and go like, wow, this, is, this, this guy's website's really, really good because he's, he's bringing in an interesting new ideas into the equation. And make sure as well that when you're going out there and buying content, that you buy from a service that is using good writers and people who are industry-level writers. Like one of the things we do in our new content service at Get Me Rankings is we have a Get Me Rankings IDF optimization service, which is exactly what I spoke about, where we use writers, high-quality writers, that actually come and think of topical words which can actually benefit your article before they write it, and it really helps with the benefits and it yields a lot of results for ranking in the SERPs. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for checking it out. If you haven't already, subscribe. And I've made a video over here talking more about the importance of relevance. It's one of the biggest ranking factors. And I really detailed it well in this video. So make sure you check it out. Look forward to seeing the next one.